Hello everyone, this is part 2 of uh, my introduction to Gimp Motion, my plugin for animation. So it's cell animation today, it's more complex animations. So I'll do, do like full HD but two times larger, you'll see why later. Um, let's have some color today, so like a nice mountain for the background. And in the plains, of course, nice flowers. And finally, let's do our character in, in blue on different layers. So every position on its own layer. So celluloid, uh, uh, cell animation, it's come from celluloid, which are like basically kind of transparent papers. And uh, that's what was used to do animation, not to have to redraw the backgrounds or objects or stuff like that. So basically it fits layer, GIMP layers very well. It's kind of very similar concepts. So our character cross the mountains and the plains. So now that's the uh, UI you saw already, but now we'll set for any cell animation. So you get this by default. So um, 50 frames should be enough. So this say name me, so let's name it with same name as layers, which make will make it a lot easier because you can only see, you see only this easier and we'll make it on three. We don't have a lot of details, so it's good on three. And hop in just with correctly named layers in just a few clicks. You already get some something viewable. So let's say here it, the character will like stay a little longer on the position eight, and after this we'll do on on two, so that will make the character go faster. It will run basically steps, go stops and run. So let's add a level. Let's call it cloud. So here are our cloud layers. This first position. And next one, just duplicate and let's have it raining, start raining. And we just duplicate and move to make it easier for the next positions. So we want obviously the cloud from the first position already. It doesn't appear by magic. So, but for like 22 frames, it will just stay as is and won't move. So when the character arrives here and stops, it will start raining. And then let's make it move after. but slower. And here it, it's how it looks. So why did we make it so much larger? Let's have the full HD size and now of course it's broken. We don't see, it doesn't follow the character. So we have some kind of keyframe. It's very basic and it's kind of buggy right now. I just show you more or less how it works, but it will be a lot better in the end. So there is some interpolation, obviously. So you just put keyframes and it should interpolate in between for the position. And later we should be able to zoom, to rotate, to do all kind of operation. And even basically I want to be able to do any gaggle operations so or effects, basically blur or whatever kind of effects you may want. And you should be able to animate the effects. That will be the final goal. And not even on the wall animation, but on each level, it should be nice, like on blurring the background and getting the main character focused or the opposite. You know, this kind of very common effects you see in cinema. 
So here is like some onion skinning, still not perfect, but basically you still need to draw in GIMP, in GIMP core, not in the plugin. So you can set onion skinning and you, should, you could double click a frame to, to get GIMP being set up for you to, to draw on the right frame, not having to search or oh, which layer was it and everything. And onion skinning is very basic. Basically, it's just playing with opacity. So right now, it assumes that full opacity, the animation should be, every each layer should be full opacity. So I'm sure you love my stick characters, but maybe let's see what Arium does with the mammoth. So that's a cut she did. It's the mammoth fleeing from an eagle. So you can have some layers for the mammoth, some layers for the snow, which basically the tracks on the ground, and for the eagle. So you can see they are follow the background E for the eagle, M for mammoth, and snow. Volume well, already set up everything, so here it is. And that's it for today. So I remind you, this is all free software. You can get the source code here. It's highly experimental and buggy, but you are welcome to play with it. And if we like what we do, both the movies, the mammoth, or the software that we build as free software, and that will help you to make animation with GIMP, you are very free to help us to support the project. We're on Patreon and TP. Links are here. Thank you very much, everybody. Goodbye.